For this video, I'd like to talk about the concept of horizontal and vertical lines. And you can see I have each of them pictured here where this blue line is the vertical line and the yellow line is the horizontal line. And essentially we need to understand the key features of each of these lines. Namely, we need to understand the slope of each of these lines. So remember that slope, the way we define it is that it's the rise divided by the run. So essentially from one point to the next on a line, say from this point to this point, essentially how much does the function or the line rise? And then we'll divide that by how much it goes left or right, which we call the run. So essentially you can think of this as how much the equation goes up and down versus or divided by how much it goes left and right. So let's start with this horizontal line here. So the slope, which we usually denote with the letter M, let me write that up here. So the slope of this line, we know we're looking at just the rise divided by the run, but in this case, the rise would be zero. Because notice that if we just pick two random points on our line, that the rise is zero. It just does not go up and down at all. So we have zero divided by the run, and the run in this case would be two because we chose these points two spaces apart. But it honestly doesn't matter which two points you choose. If I chose this one and this one, you still have zero divided by some number. And zero divided by anything is equal to zero. So the slope of this line is zero. So slope is zero for a horizontal line. And now we can consider the vertical line, this line here in blue. So again, we wanna look at the slope, which is the rise divided by the run. So I'm going to pick two random points. We'll just use this point here and this point here. And essentially, we know that our rise, it looks like in this case is two, but our run, how much we go left and right is zero because these points are at the exact same x value. So there is no change in the x value. So we essentially have division by zero, which we can't do. So for this particular case, for these vertical lines, we'd say that the slope is undefined, simply because you can't divide by zero. You just cannot do this. And this result we would find by choosing really any two points on this line. We could have chosen this point and even this point down here whereas our rise would have been a much higher number. It looks like eight, but our run would still be zero. So you would have, in any of these cases, you would have some number divided by zero. And since we can't divide by zero, we can conclude that the slope of a vertical line is always undefined. And with all of this in mind, let's now go through some different example problems. So let's start this first one. We just wanna graph these two different equations. We have the equation y is equal to minus four, which I'll graph in this blue color. And we have the equation x is equal to three, which I'll graph in the yellow color. So let's start with the x is equal to three. So basically we wanna find an x value of three and essentially all points on this line have the same x value. So essentially all of these points going up, notice they all have x values of three. And essentially every point on this vertical line here would have an x value of three. And looking at this y is equal to minus four, which we'll graph in blue, essentially we wanna find a y value of minus four, which would be right here. And all points on this line would have that same y value. So essentially this would be a horizontal line through the y value of negative four. Because if you consider any point, like let's say five comma minus four, this point on the line does have a y value of minus four. And that's true of every single point on this line. So in other words, let's say if we had x is equal to minus two, you wanna find this x value on your coordinate plane. It would be right here. And essentially every point on this line would have that exact same x value. So that's how you know you're looking at points above and below since all of these have the same x value. And then we can essentially just draw our line in and we have this other vertical line. So now let's try a different type of problem. So we're given this line where it looks like X is equal to 
minus 2 here, and we're asked what the slope of the line is. So remember that slope, m, is defined as the rise divided by the run. And in this case, if we just pick two random points, like let's say this point here and this point here, then our rise, it looks like we don't go up and down at all. So our rise would be 0, and our run would be 2. And as we saw above, if we chose really any two points, like let's say these points here, you would still end up with 0 divided by some number. So the slope for this horizontal line is simply equal to 0. And if we look at this problem here, so now we have a vertical line through this point minus 5 comma minus 2. And to answer questions like this, it might be easier if you start by plotting this on a coordinate plane. So let me quickly draw a coordinate axis. So we need to plot the point minus 5 comma minus 2. So we go over 5 to the left on the x-axis and then down 2. So that would be this point right here. And then we need a vertical line through that point. So let me just draw that. And the key feature of this line is that they all have the same x value. Namely, every point on this line has an x value of minus 5. So we can say that the equation of this line is simply x is equal to minus 5. And again, this is just because every single point on this line has this exact same x value. And let's do one final example problem here. And for this one, we just need the equation of the line. So what you can notice is that every point on this line has a different y value but they all have the same x value. They all have this x value of minus 9. So we can say that the equation of this line is simply x is equal to minus 9.